2018 Toys for the North. The journey started from Canadian Forces Base Trenton aboard a C-133 Hercules. It went to Labrador, dropped off toys, and then headed to Thunder Bay, Ontario with the next stop on the journey as the C-133 landed at Thunder Bay International Airport. Upon landing, the C-133 was met by a crew from North Star Air, Garden Wine, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police who proceeded to supervise the unloading of the plane. This was a huge job as the plane was fully loaded with many, many pallets of toys, with Kleenex, with Pampers, and with supplies to make it a far better Christmas from the North. As this massive plane made the turn and headed in towards the volunteers, it was a very, very emotional and very exciting moment. These giant planes are massive, and until you get up close to them, you really can't appreciate the size and the power of these aircraft. This is James with Net News Ledger. We're at the Thunder Bay International Airport. It's a little bit noisy. We have a fighter jet getting set to take off. And the Hercules, number 611, has just landed with its toys for the north. This is a great big, solid turboprop aircraft, as you can see. We're going to be getting in the back end of this big puppy in a few minutes to see what the toys are. So as the toys come up, we're with uh, Staff Sergeant Roy. How do you feel right now? Well, another uh, year of seeing the toys for the North campaign. Feel very excited. All the partnership people are getting involved and helping us uh, through the years is just growing and growing. So very uh, great success to see everybody involved. This is a this is a great big plane coming in, and then you can see the fighter jet in the background. This is something fun for Thunder Bay. Well, it's very nice to have the, the, the first plane that came in to do a recce before the big plane arriving. The toys uh, have been traveling all day from this aircraft. They, they left Trenton, Ontario, went to Labrador. Now they're here delivering the toys. Beautiful day. Thank you very much. Karen, as we sit here and you watch all the work that you've been doing, and in comes the plane, how do you feel? Uh, almost relieved, James, but there's so much more work to get done now. We've got an amazing team of volunteers that are going to help segregate all these toys. But just seeing this here in Thunder Bay is a thing of beauty. Thank you to our Canadian Forces for providing the means to get up here to Thunder Bay. This is awesome. Now, the toys are going to go from the Canadian Forces plane. Then they're going on to Garden Wine. What's the journey today with the toys? Today, we're just going to transfer to the transport truck waiting in the parking lot. We're going to be moving it over to the warehouse, Gardawine Warehouse, locally here. And then we are going to all meet, and I think that's going to happen tomorrow, to triage all the gifts, pack up everything together. We have other things to add to it. The OSPCA has donated some uh, blankets through the Urban Blanket Company. Those will be arriving this week. We've got all the food to give out also. It's going to be such an exciting and joyful time, James. We're very thrilled at North Star to be a part of this. Thank you, Karen. And now we're, we're starting to see the crews head out to unload the toys. As the back end of the plane opened, you could see that it was absolutely full of toys. It took a few moments to get everything organized. Uh, Staff Sergeant Roy from the RCMP was helping direct traffic and make sure that it works to make this a safe way to unload the aircraft. The garden wine trucks coming in were having to be positioned in a safe area so that the forklifts could load the pallets of toys on board the trailers and head them down later to the garden wine center so that they could be unloaded.
It's a very busy day here at the Thunder Bay Airport, as you can see. And they're getting set to bring the uh, five pallets of toys off the aircraft and then get them rolling along.
And as you can now see, this great big aircraft has been emptied of all of the toys. Everybody's coming together with their stuff. And we're at the Thunder Bay International Airport with Toys for the North. This is James with Net. This is James with Net News Ledger. We're reporting to you right now from Poplar Hill First Nation, but we are on the Toys for the North trek. We've been to Deer Lake earlier today after leaving Thunder Bay this morning. And here's the first part of our multi reports. Santa, you're ready to go up and do Toys for the North. You're Absolutely. a little early this year for the kids. Ho, ho, ho. Try to go see all the good kids in the north. <laughs> so gentlemen, Toys for the North, we're wheels up in a few hours or an hour and a half. What's, what do our readers and viewers need to know? Well, uh, I'll just start off myself again. Uh, what they need to know is that uh, we're getting together as a community, like together the community, every, uh, every other uh, organization is doing in, uh, within Thunder Bay right now, and it's uh, bring joy to uh, the kids and bring some toys. And uh, it all started off in uh, the journey from a week ago uh, when the toys arrived and got together with the partners from North Star and Gardwine um, in the RCMP, uh, put everything together, and today we're seeing the, uh, the results. Uh, I understand that the, some of the toys, the cargo has arrived to the communities, and a uh, big thank you to North Star on that and, and his crew to have it uh, orchestrated, to have it make sure that once we arrive, the toys are there. And Frank, this is, this is a big thing with North Star Air. Every year now, North Star is taking toys to the north with the RCMP. Right, and I have to say that let's thank the RCMP for doing this. Cause they've actually called us a few years back and uh, these people have uh, take a lot of pride in in what they do and and they want to see and help the people up north and if it wasn't for this phone call this would not lead to what it's leading to at this time and uh, North Star Air is obviously feels the same way as the RCMP does we want to do everything we can do to help the people that really deserve to have the presence on their table uh, that most people don't get at some times and, and for us and the RCMP this is the thing we like to do together. Thank you Meg Witch. Now, the, the toys arrived in Thunder Bay on the C-133, on the Hercules, and then they went to, onto Garden Wine trucks, and then were sorted last Wednesday for the northern communities. What's Garden Wine's interest in all of this? This is a great project. Uh, well, Garden Wine does take part in a lot of community outreach like this, and uh, this is the first year that uh, the RCMP has reached out to Garden Wine to help with this type of thing here. And uh, we just like... You know we're happy to be the partnership for this and we're hoping that this is you know a partnership that can come for many years and we're more than happy to take part and we're more than happy to come along with the venture for today and see what it's like in these northern communities that we're here to help out with thank you thanks merry christmas 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 and joy noel Following wheels up in Thunder Bay, it was wheels down in Deer Lake First Nation, along with a caravan from North Star Air that brought in the toys. This is James with Net News Ledger. We're in Deer Lake, and a caravan loaded with toys has just landed at the Deer Lake Airport as part of North Star Air and the RCMP with Toys for the North. As you can see, Santa Claus is doing a supervisory role in unloading the plane, which is stuffed to the rafters, as you can see, with all of the toys. Good. Toys for the North in Deer Lake, Ontario. This is the Frosty the Snowman truck, probably from the Christmas parade in Deer Lake, backing up so they can start to unload the toys. Don't forget Mr. Claus. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Claus. All right. Truckloads of toys going to be unloaded here in Deer Lake. We're in Deer Lake First Nation with Naps, the RCMP, Toys for the North.
It's about minus 18 in Deer Lake right now. No wind, beautiful day. It was awesome. <laughs> what, what's it been like for the kids today? And, uh, we've seen all the kids. Uh, we've well, seen uh, a few of them so far. But there's more coming, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> How many how many kids are there in Deer Lake and in, in, in the uh, can't community? Any I can't, idea? No, I can't do this. Yeah, uh, I lost count already. There's so many kids. You'll see them. There'll be more coming uh, during lunch hour. What does it mean to have an event like this in your community? You know, it's, uh, I think we're one of two stops or three stops today. What does it mean to have your community being one of those stops? Well, it means a lot uh, for the kids to show that. Uh, People care from outside and, and to have uh, airlines uh, sponsor this trip and that is very awesome. Do you think that for some kids this means the difference of having... It makes a big difference. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Deer Lake TV is broadcasting this live into the home so all the elders and everybody in the community gets to see this. And Santa Claus is about to start handing out toys to the kids. The excitement of the kids is just such a joy to see at Christmas time. Christmas is all about the kids. Here's the kids from Deer Lake. So you guys having a good day? Oh, you got a puppy for Christmas <laughs> instead of a toy. That's mine. Oh. So you're going to wish everyone a Merry Christmas? <laughs> Hello, are you, uh, what's your name? Hmm? What's your name? He's not even talking. I can't talk. Sure they can. You know what he's saying? I want to have a nice warm Christmas. Why are you recording? Yeah, he said that. His name is Oreo. All right, you guys are just about to go in. Who are you going in to see? Merry Christmas! Hello. Hello. Hi. Merry Christmas! All right. Hi. A Boston Bruins fan. I thought everybody was a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. I am. All right. And Canada. <laughs> I like Santa Claus because I like it because I want I want the present. Are you excited today? Yeah. What's your name? Coda. Coda. Coda Romano. Cool. And you're doing the news from Deer Lake. Hello, camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see Santa over here. I wish I I wish, so long. I wish Santa Claus gave me dinosaur Legos. I like it. <gasps> because right. I always like it. It's winter time. Guys. Okay, help. The weather is shot. Wait. The weather is sunny today. And and there's 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 toys at the over here. At the TV station. Hi. Sing a song. Hi. Sing a song. Why? Jingle Hi. bells. Jingle bells. Yeah. So we're here at the TV station. You can see a lot of people. A lot of people is here t Jingle excited. Bell. Bell. Excited. Yeah, the way. A lot of people. A lot of people is excited. A lot of people's excited to see Santa, so 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 they can get gifts like like this kind of gift. Oh, it does. Never mind. <laughs> ha, bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you have a good good holiday. Bye. I want to try? Okay. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. Goodbye. <laughs> Jingle bell, jingle bell, we are the way to the time of Mr. Rising all the same thing. Jingle bell, jingle bell. I like this song. I like Christmas song. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Now, what do you think of Star Wars for Christmas? 
Are you happy? Yeah. Did you get what you wanted? Yeah. And what's your name? What's your first name? Bet. Huh? Ben? Bet. All right. Well, thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That was like a lot of fun. Sweet. Photo Oh, what a, what a good excitement. Good job. Good morning. morning. Uh, arriving in Deer Lake, seeing all the kids lined up. Uh, first of all, we have people from the community at the airport. Let's give a turn to the other one. Arriving with the toys and the saddle. And drove in to, uh, to this little uh, TV hut. And uh, all the kids are coming in to gather the toys, lean Santa, lean the medicine, uh, uh, naps, and uh, RCSB, and people are okay, eating. So wow, well, uh, okay? I can't express myself. Very joyful, especially this time of year. Very joyful. What? See the smile on the kids' uh, face in people of the community. So yeah. Again, Merry Christmas. Big uh, Merry Christmas to the community of uh, Which one do you want? Deer Lake. To the north. Tell us how you feel right now with all the work that's gone on. I am so overwhelmed right now, James. The culmination of all this hard work across all of Ontario, everyone coming together to make this happen here in Deer Lake. To see the look on the kids' faces is just priceless. Um, it's a little cold, our feet are cold, our hands are cold, but you know what? Just the atmosphere here warms the heart. It's, um, it's very touching to be here and, and uh, be a part of this. The last stop for Toys for the North was Poplar Hill First Nation, a short flight from Deer Lake. Come on in. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. A huge feast awaited the almost entire community of Poplar Hill as we arrived in the gymnasium for the school. There was lots of food to be had, lots of presents, and lots of people to have a good time. Once the prayers were said and some speeches made, everyone lined up to get some delicious food. As you can see, it's a large gathering here in Poplar Hill. The full day continued. There were door prizes. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of things that people were going to be able to win as a door prize just for coming out to the community meeting. The tree was set up. Everything was ready to go here. And the feast was being served. And let me tell you, it was delicious. There was everything you would have wanted. And everyone had a good time. We are in Poplar Hill First Nation with Santa Claus at Toys for the North. And the kids, as you can see, have literally swamped Santa Claus. There is uh, a full load of toys coming out with North Star Air and the RCMP now working really hard to get the toys out. Absolutely. I couldn't, uh, couldn't miss this opportunity to come here and visit all these wonderful kids. They're awesome. And I thank you very much for having me early like that. But can you imagine, it'll be a little, couple of more days and I'll be back well, again with all Rudolph and the sleigh. And one for you. Right now, Mrs. Claus is you. busy up north, big, taking care of the elves and there? making sure all the toys are being put together and packaged for the sleigh. There you go. And then we'll be back down for that. There you go. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. So here we are. We are in Poplar Hill. We're with some of the kids. You've been having fun today? Yeah. yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Yes. Now you've got a charm bracelet. Are you going to go over and get a bigger toy or did you get one? A bigger toy, no. Do you want to wish, say Merry Christmas to everybody? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, okay. So that's the story. It is Merry Christmas from Poplar Hill First Nation. I'm James with Net News Ledger. And I'm told that what we really need to do is wish everyone a safe and happy New Year. So you're going, what's your first name? Oren Moose. Oren Moose, I'm James Murray. And you wanted to say something to everyone? Happy New Year. And do you want everyone to have a safe Merry Christmas? 
Yes. Thank you very much. Che Miigwech. Miigwech. Thank you. Toys for the North 2018. From the C-133 bringing the toys to the Thunder Bay International Airport. To traveling north. First to Deer Lake First Nation. And then to Poplar Hill First Nation. And seeing the smiles and seeing the joy in the kids and seeing the community spirit come together has made Toys for the North 2018 very special. This is James with Net News Ledger, back in Thunder Bay, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy 2019 Happy New Year. And thanks to everyone for helping make this a very special day. <laughs>